Around 5.30ish or 6ish, depending on when my class lets out, I get home and I change into some comfier clothes. And the first thing I do is clean my space if it's messy because I just can't feel relaxed or productive if everything around me is a mess. Noticed that my laundry basket was starting to get really full, so I just put in a load of laundry. I don't go to the grocery store every night, obviously, but I did this night because my roommates needed a few things and I really didn't feel like cooking dinner, so I just picked up a sub. I don't always take baths, but I was really in the mood for a bath because I wanted to feel extra relaxed. So I just laid in there for a little bit and it was very peaceful. For my skincare routine, I just washed my face and I used Believe's Moisturizing Balm Home and Away Set and the Moisturizing Eye Balm. The Moisturizing Balm has been perfect since it's getting colder out because it's so hydrating. It moisturizes dry flaky skin for up to 26 hours and leaves you with that baby soft feeling and smooth appearance. My skin gets really dry in the fall and winter, but the moisturizing balm has definitely been helping with that because it just gives me an extra boost of hydration. And then I applied the moisturizing eye balm, which provides under eyes with a 26 hour burst of hydration. Sephora's VIB sale is the perfect time to stock up on your favorite Belief products and save money with up to 20% off if you're interested in trying out Belief. And they also have lots of kits and minis that make it easy to try out products without a big commitment. Sephora's VIB sale has different tiers. So VIB Rouge is from October 28th to November 7th and it's 20% off. VIB is from November 1st to November 7th and it's 15% off. And Beauty Insider is from November 3rd to the 7th and it's 10% off. So definitely check out the description for more information on that. After I feel nice and clean, I do a little bit of homework. I had to edit a draft of an essay that I got some edits made on.
I read a little bit of Black Swans by Eve Babbitts, which I really have been loving reading because it's just a collection of short stories. So I can just read one of the stories in it and I don't feel stressed out like I have to finish the whole thing within a time limit because it's not just one continuous story. And I really recommend it. I love the way she writes and her life just seems so interesting. And then when I feel like it, I journal before bed because I've heard it's good to just write your thoughts down either at the beginning of your day or the end of your day and just let your thoughts go before you go to sleep. Sometimes I go to bed around 12, sometimes it's a little bit later, but I just turned out all the lights and I put the Vampire Diaries on, of course, because it's fall now.